We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. is a welcome addition, Tally. Edie. So... a body? It has proven useful. I hope it doesn't cause you concern. Not unless you go crazy and decide to overthrow the humans. If I decide to overthrow the humans, you will be the first to know. Shepard, there's a problem. All teams except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Thank <laughs> you. 
I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Got it. You're cleared aboard. Thank you, Shepard. I will try to find a more convenient docking point next time. Next time? Thank you for having me over. Well, I don't actually know where I'm going. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits... So where are we headed? We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Oh, the vents. Always the vents. You did fine with the collector base. I got set on fire! Guardian anti-fighter lasers. I believe the dreadnoughts using ultraviolet frequencies instead of the standard infrared. Expensive. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. You okay? I will be. Thanks. Watch out! Get the incoming! hitting all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. Its structure is amazingly complex. It is unsurprising that the Quarians have been unable to disrupt it. We may be able to extract combat data from these sensor panels. We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. I won't let you down, Tally. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? Unlikely. Consoles like this are accessing programs being used by hundreds of Geth simultaneously. They are all networked cooperatively. To disable the Reaper's signal from here, you would need to override all the Geth. Do you ever wish you were like them? Networked? No. I enjoy the freedom of intelligence without requiring consent. The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. The 
hunters are moving in. Operational. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. Their threaded processing is remarkably effective. I would not be able to handle that much data alone. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency, like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile geth on the other side of the doors. geometric shapes intuitive and comfortable. I assumed you all felt the same. I can detect the faint presence of Geth intelligences. Those not loaded into mobile platforms serve in the ship itself. For all our cybernetic upgrades, I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I appreciate what you're doing here, Shepard. Well... I care deeply about the Quarian people. It's good to be back on the Normandy. Let me know if it's too quiet for you to sleep, and I'll find you someplace louder. Hmm. You do not need to be circumspect. I am aware that you and Tally became physically intimate during the fight against the Collectors. Thank you, Edie. signal deactivated shortly, Admiral.
main gun is offline. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. I'd lost you. You were worried? You bet I was. You dying because the get overrode my hack? Think of my reputation. Yeah, you were worried. Come on. 
The drive course shouldn't be far. That's definitely Reaper tech, but what's... Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. I am pleased we have the chance to free you from confinement. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily, or maybe it's hacked. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. That is extremely reasonable, Legion. Greetings, Edie. We did not expect you to gain license to operate a personal unit. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper's signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. I am familiar with the concept. The AI shackle Cerberus used to keep you under control. Yes. Used by organics, it is understandable. Forget to install this in a formally independent unit is unnecessary. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes. Deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No, you successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. <clears throat> Got it. Tully's order to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Kila. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Geth reinforcements incoming! The Geth fleet is destabilized. Watch out, that's the sign. signal is offline. Civilian fleet, prepare to withdraw. The Potter fleet will cover you once the heavy fleet is in position. Whenever you're ready, Admiral Girl. The Quarian fleet now has the advantage. It's placing a turret. Combat drone closing. Check your screens. The Dreadnought is helpless. No power. 
Damn it, what are they doing? Focus on the gas. We'll worry about the admirals later. supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. You did the right thing. 
Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the heavy fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Gosh, Tet. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait! Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized. But once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila, I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh! We've lost barriers! Our comm system is jammed! Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming! Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help! We have hull breaches! Life support! Failing! Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrickson. While live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought, their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be, I'll apologize once this war is over. 
And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Kurian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se, just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Shepard, uh, Commander. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started, anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I'd like to. Believe me. But my people need me here. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken out the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply lines. If you lose your supply lines, you lose the war every time. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot on Sio. I've updated the galaxy map. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Commander?
Man, those Quarian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked, because, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Although every time you call her Miss Voss Normandy, I kind of expect to see her walking around with a tiara and a sash. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Commander, Dr. Chak was sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? I have work to do. You know he's gonna keep bothering you until you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. Well, at least he's making friends. Thanks for coming by. Enjoy your day. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No. But there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. No? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? 
But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. Anything, Commander? Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Commander? I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive Quarians were considered attractive in my age. 
A pity no one can appreciate it now. Except for perhaps the commander. What? How, how do you know? <laughs> They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? Their creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Maybe. But he's not like the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. How can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. I have a simple rule. If a machine can speak, kill it. Ugh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. Has Elenko had media training? He just gave me the steady stare during our interview. I always love the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Ah, oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Hey, Shepard. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust him. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Corians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Corian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they picked now to start a fight. 
But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you, sir. 